After a protracted wait, Nothing OS is now available for the Phone 1, and we've been diving into the top new features, so stay tuned. With just one Android device in the firm's portfolio, it's taken a little longer than you might have expected for such a lightweight take in Android 13 to hit its stable milestone. You could level criticism at the London-based startup, but the good news is that if you do have the Phone 1, you can get that latest version of Android right now. And here are 15 top new features we think you need to know about in Nothing OS 1.5. But also on top of that, be sure to check our full walkthrough with every single tiny change with Nothing OS 1.5 down in the description below. But without any further ado, let's get into it. Easily one of the biggest new additions in Android 13 for Phone 1 is the overdue Nothing weather application, which wasn't mentioned during its original launch keynote. The dot matrix design that has become a signature of the company is draped all over this fairly simple weather tracking application. Everything is monochrome with beautiful line style graphics, giving what is a fairly basic information or information at a glance, a unique look and feel. One major downside we can foresee is that this app isn't actually coming to more devices via the Play Store, but it is a really nice way to check up on your local weather conditions. It will probably be wrong to call the default camera interface changes an overhaul, as it's far from that. However, the changes are seemingly notable nonetheless. And lots of these are to do with performance. Things such as the menu animations, they've been adjusted for a smoother feel, but the overall performance boosts do result in a snappier experience. And that is gonna be important when you wanna take photos and videos quickly. Switching modes is just much faster and the UI elements themselves take up less space in the viewfinder once they've loaded in. Overall, the camera application hasn't had much in way of overall feature additions. In fact, there's been none, but it just feels that a little bit better to use on a day-to-day -day basis. Nothing OS 1.5 also includes extra under the hood performance improvements that might exceed many of the other features on this list, as it could actually vastly improve the long-term viability of this device for many people. One of the major benefits is the supposed 50% increase in app loading times, which means your phone should just feel faster after installing Android 13 for the first time. Background memory management also helps reduce the speed at which your most used applications load into view. Another benefit when you're in and out of that recent menu. That's not all though, as app startup speed is said to be a whopping 71% faster, meaning that if you open an app after closing previously, it should be ready long before a device running Android 12 would be able to. You can also see that the extra attention has been paid to app animations and transitions, this is most obvious when unlocking your device with a slower fade in from your home screen rather than popping into view. I must admit that I do prefer the old animation, but it is nice to see attention being paid here. On top of that, the in-display fingerprint scanner itself is pretty solid, but this has been tweaked with a supposed 12% boost in accuracy and speed. Nothing has touted a self-repair feature on top of this too that'll help clear unused cache and expired system dumps to help keep things running smoothly on your phone one. You might not notice these changes in Nothing OS 1.5 as it's not particularly user-facing in a lot of ways, but they're important features that build upon what was already a fairly smooth experience. Sure, the glyph lighting panel could be considered a gimmick, but it's still one of the most unique design traits of an Android phone in recent years and has helped sell this device to many people. Those little LED strips are useful as a soft light for videos and photos, but it's in notifications where Nothing sells its functionality. 11 new ringtones and notification tones have been added here in Android 13, alongside the existing 10. The new ringtones span simple digital bleeps to more musically aligned options like a woo yeah option. This includes basic vocals and sounds very much like something you'd hear while playing a Game Boy. If like me though, you're in silent mode 99.9% .9 of the time, then you might not be all that bothered, but the new light shows they're a really nice addition here too. Material U has already been fairly baked into Nothing OS, but in Android 13, it becomes an even bigger part of the system with more integration into areas such as menus, toggles, and then much more of that. More color swatches can be extracted from your wallpaper within that wallpaper and style application, which has a greater effect on how you experience Nothing OS 1.5. There's also the introduction of themed icons that will change color based upon your color preferences on top of that, any supported applications will get a monochromatic icon when this is set, even when you alter your device wallpaper or theme. It's just great for creating simple, cohesive device themes, but sadly not all icons are supported at this stage. 
Nothing OS 1.5 also has a feature that actually won't be on the Pixel until Android 14. The lock screen customization means that you can change the default shortcuts that appear at the bottom left and bottom right of your lock screen. By default, these shortcuts are set to Google Wallet on the right side and device controls on the left side when you've signed in with your Google Home account. With Android 13 on Nothing Phone 1 though, you can change these to the flashlight, the camera, device controls and wallet or even disable them entirely. Hopefully we'll see more options in future, but for now this is a really big step up for quick access before you even open or unlock your phone. The quick setting panel is many things, but at its heart, it's designed to be a section of your device that is home to persistent and useful controls and functions. Google has changed many things here since launching Android 12, but the Google lens powered QR code scanner is a good move. You're now able to launch directly into the QR code scanner, which is within the Google lens application here in Android 13 when running Nothing OS 1.5 on your device. We think this is really great for quickly scanning the resurgent dot matrix barcodes and just save a lot of time as you don't even need to launch Google Lens or the camera app to start scanning. If you're bilingual or you speak more languages, it's likely nice to hear that Nothing OS 1.5 also comes with the Android 13 ability to set distinct per app languages. This might even be helpful if you are learning a language as your system language can be completely different to individual apps on your phone. Android 13 includes lots of distinct dialects here too, but the application itself will need to have support for those before you can change those language settings, but it's a nice addition nonetheless. Also, when you copy text anywhere within Nothing OS 1.5, the clipboard preview pop-up in the bottom left now has some more features. Tapping this little pop-up opens a new text editor window where you can just adjust or refine the text before pasting wherever you feel like. There's even a quick nearby share button, which looks like a small computer, when you want to send copy text to other connected devices. Another nice bonus to use this clipboard function. So Android itself isn't perfect on managing or killing those rogue running services that do end up sapping at your battery. Sometimes you'll use apps that run in the background without your knowledge. In Android 13, a new active app section within the bottom of the quick settings panel keeps track of any applications that are currently using your system resources. If anything is running, you can tap this area to see just how long an app has been running in the foreground, but isn't visible. Hitting the stop button actually just simply stops that app or service from running and helps you free up system resources. And it's really nice to see access or have access to this when you're using your phone throughout the day. When you're playing music or general media in Android 13 and nothing OS 1.5, there's now a brand new media center layout that aims to put album artwork back on full display. That's not all, as the player itself includes a wider selection of controls right at your fingertips, including app specific options such as the like button in YouTube music, or maybe a shuffle or skip forward button in your podcast app of choice. If you do have cast enabled devices available to you though, there's also a button to quickly connect and a playback progress bar that you can use to quickly skip forwards or backwards between tracks, podcasts, videos, and anything that is currently listed here. This panel is also much larger and easy to manage and looks great on the lock screen, in the quick settings panel, and everywhere else you need to access it. Nothing US 1.5 now also features a vastly improved game mode, which is basically Google's game dashboard. The old gaming specific mode needed to be set up to launch with specific applications. It also added really little in terms of functionality. The game dashboard though is a full gaming suite with an FPS counter, a quick screenshot tool, a quick screen record tool, YouTube live streaming uh, options, plus game optimization for supported titles. And it's definitely worthwhile to update to this if you do have a lot of mobile games that you play on the go. Another neat feature added in Nothing US 1.5 is the live caption function, which works with any app or service. Although it is quite an old feature, at least at this stage, having been announced back in 2019, it is useful if you want to get speed speech to text from all of your favorite content. If speech is detected from a video or any audio playing on your phone, the device will now generate captions that can be resized or dismissed when you're done. It's definitely worthwhile if you want to watch something, maybe you don't have any headphones and you want to watch something on the go. The new photo picker added with Android 13 is now also available in Nothing OS 1.5. And this is basically a pop-up panel that lets you choose to only give apps access to a specific image or library of albums that you've chosen. It is a system-wide picker that aims at ensuring added privacy to you by not letting those apps access your entire gallery at once. It's visually sensible as well, 
As often in-app galleries and photo pickers can be quite confusing or annoying and very different from app to app, it still doesn't work with every application as I mentioned, but more apps are now starting to support it week in, week out. The Nothing Phone one is also one of a few first non-Pixel Android devices with Google's suite of personal safety tools baked in. Personal safety debuted as a Pixel exclusive app and includes features like emergency contacts, SOS, crisis alerts, and car crash detection. With this update, most of the core personal safety experience is now accessible to Nothing Phone 1 users. Crisis alerts ensure that you're aware of any ongoing emergencies in your region, while medical information and emergency sharing options are there to help plan ahead should a disaster ever strike. Sadly though, the car crash detection function is not available, but we're hoping it will come with a future update. So the move from Android 12 to Android 13 is definitely more than just the feature set as Nothing OS has gained some important tuning to improve the overall experience of what is a fairly new software build, all things considered. I wanna ask you though, have you updated the phone one to Android 13? If so, what's your personal favorite new feature or function? Let me know down in the comment sections below. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.